What's up, guys? Pete King here, bringing you some uh, depressing news. Don't even know how to say this. I just I found this out a few hours ago. About two hours ago. I had to go and confirm to see if it was true. It's true. Um, you all probably know by now. Uh, so it's not. Uh, the the author of Berserk, Keto Ke, Ke, Ketonara Miyori. I don't know if I'm saying his name right. I apologize for that. Has sadly passed away. Um, apparently, he passed away on the sixth uh, of May. So he's he's been gone for a, at least for a good few weeks now. We just found that out now. Uh, uh, Fifty-four years old. Apparently, the cause was uh, acute erotic dis disfixiation or something dissection I I cure it acute erotic er erotic dissection acute erotic dissection something to do with the heart or the vessels exploding or the artery I'm not uh, an erotic dissection is a serious condition in which the inner layer of the oroto the large blood vessel breaching off the heart tears blood searches through the tear causing the inner and middle layers of the auto lot to separate so um if you could see my collection you'd you'd notice that yeah i've been collecting the uh, duologues editions for berserk because berserk is a great bloody manga it's a it's a great piece of art it's a masterpiece you know depending where you look at it it's like it's like the game of thrones or, or or the Lord of the Rings of, of manga, technically. That's how good it is. And uh, yeah, yeah, we're <laughs> we're never gonna see the end of the the work anymore. And um, a lot of people are gonna say that we're not Berserk's gonna remain unfinished. But uh, you know, that's not even the thing I'm most upset about. I'm upset that he he died without ever getting to finish his masterpiece. Something that he worked so many years on since 1990, and he will never have a chance to finish it. And um, not to mention from what I've just read about the condition, it must have been bloody painful. Him sitting there, lying in the hospital, in pain properly, and I hope not. Um, I hope not. I hope he died peacefully. I hope I really do. Uh, yeah, like, we just, we've lost, we've lost a great artist. That's what's happened. We've lost someone great in the, from the manga industry, and there's not going to be anyone like this ever again. Um, and yeah, it's 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 bloody sad. Um, and we've always known he's had health problems as well. And to be honest, I blame the industry. I blame the industry how it how it pushes certain creators to work so hard to the point that they make themselves sick or become unhealthy or it gets to this point I guess uh, I don't know if it's to blame I don't know maybe, maybe it was just a natural thing that occurred but I don't know I wish I wish I wish this I wish the state of the industry would change where where the manga industry or even the anime industry would allow people to to you know to to lay pressure off them for Christ's sake and yeah it's it's upsetting it's upsetting because <laughs> we're never going to see this man's uh, future work again, and it's dep it's it's even more depressing now that he had just pretty much got done with with what I well, what I would consider to be the end of the of the act of of, of Act Two. He'd finally got into that point. He'd finished it up, and we we're pretty much heading into Act Three. And yeah, we're never going to see how he was going to conclude that. Fan fiction, I guess, will work, but that's the thing, like, like, would, you know, uh, for now, rest in peace, that's what I want to say, you know, pay our respects to him, pay respects to his family, pay respect to his work, um, what's gonna happen for the future, I don't really, to be honest, I don't care anymore, um, I wouldn't want anyone else touching his work, 
because it's not ever going to be as good as what he did, anything that comes out is probably just going to be fair. And to be honest, that's probably the best thing we could do. Like, if we want an ending, we could just come up with it ourselves at this point. Because the guy who had, who knew what he was doing is no longer here. And no one's ever going to be able to do the great things that he managed to do with it. It's never going to be as good. It's never going to reach those heights. We're never going to see what he had planned. We're never going to see his detailed artwork again. Unless you've got those. Unless you've been collecting, in which case those will remain forever. I'm just, no, I'm just really sad. I'm really sad he's gone. Like, I didn't expect that. I never, you you would, you don't think about it. You don't sit there. You don't think about like that, that this could happen. But yeah, it can happen. It can happen to anyone. It can happen to any of, any of us. Yeah. I don't know if you guys do cheers or not, but a, a salute or a cheer to to Kitanoro Sensei. And yeah, I hope I hope he's in peace. <laughs>